The Q Shaman, an eccentric supporter of the QAnon conspiracy theory whose shirtless appearance at the U.S. Capitol siege revealed hate symbols he has tattooed on his body, appears to have denied claims from fellow QAnon supporters who think he's secretly an anti-fascist actor in disguise. Many believers of QAnon, a baseless far-right conspiracy theory alleging that President Donald Trump has been fighting to take down a deep state cabal of pedophiles and human traffickers, were involved in the riot, along with other far-right extremists. The Arizona man known for attending rallies in the state as the Q Shaman, to support QAnon and its associated belief system, became a fixture of Wednesday's coup attempt after photos of him wearing a horned helmet and red, white, and blue face paint went viral. The far-right activist was photographed on the Senate dais and used a megaphone to communicate with the influx of Trump supporters who descended on the Capitol. But he has emerged at the center of a new unfounded conspiracy theory alleging that he was only an actor in disguise, as insiders Charles Davis previously reported. Trump supporters, including congressional Republicans and Fox News anchors, have falsely claimed that the riot in the Capitol on Wednesday, which killed at least three people, featured Antifa protesters pretending to be Trump supporters. There is no evidence to support the claim, which was largely popularized by a now-retracted story on the right-wing Washington Times News website. As Mashable's Matt Binder reported, a misinformation campaign has even falsely alleged that Anjali is connected to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Lynn Wood, the Trump-supporting attorney who was permanently banned from Twitter on Thursday after weeks of spreading false voter fraud claims and encouraging Wednesday's incident in D.C., accused Anjali of being a phony. Wood tweeted a photo of Anjali, writing, indisputable photographic evidence that Antifa violently broke into Congress today, according to the Huron Daily Tribune. Wood's tweets are no longer available due to his ban. A Twitter account that appears to belong to Anjali, who is also referred to as, Yellowstone Wolf, in the QAnon community, replied to Wood's tweet Wednesday evening, writing, I am not Antifa or BLM. I'm a QAnon and digital soldier. My name is Jake and I marched with the police and fought against BLM and Antifa in PHX. Anjali has been seen attending Black Lives Matter protests as a QAnon supportive counter-protester. The tweet also suggested that Wood look up footage from One America News Network, a pro-Trump propaganda news outlet, showing him at a July 4th protest in Phoenix. Some Twitter users replied to the tweet by tagging the FBI's Twitter account, after the agency was criticized for seeking public assistance in identifying rioters. The account's profile picture is an image of Anjali. Newsweek has also reported that the account, called it USA Wolfpack, belonged to Anjali.